yeah, you, you don't do this. Good old YouTube, good old YouTube comment section. And in this case, one of those things where last week, I same kind of concept, I'm assuming most of you are like, yeah, that, that, that's, that's not how it works. In this case, that's not what you should be doing, that's really stupid, but people still do it. Common sense, obvious things, apparently aren't as always common sense or obvious as they should be. So maybe you'll look at this situation and be like, what Clay, what's the problem here? In that situation, good. This will be an educational video for you. But for the, the, those of others of you, this is also one of those things where you, you got to be careful of when people kind of come at you like, oh, you know, that's just gambling. You know, oh, oh, you trade? You're a trade? Oh, hmm. Well, that's and you know, have you have you ever had that before? Where some you tell people that you're interested in in the markets and trading, and then. They kind of their eyebrows go up and maybe they don't say it, but you can tell they're thinking, oh wow, that's, that's, so you're pretty much a glorified gambler. Oh, you know, and, and they give you that vibe. Well, these are the sort of people that we're gonna look that give these, give, you know, this stereotype. People like this drive me nuts because I guarantee you, I guarantee people like this, when they go and talk to friends and families, they're not using the word, yeah, I, I'm a gambler. Yeah, I'm gambling in the stock market. No, they're telling them, yeah, you know, I'm trading the markets now. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm investing in the markets. You know, they're using those types of, you know, description words, trader, investor, I'm making an investment, uh, you know, I, I'm doing a trade. And they're making it sound all like, okay, all right, to friends and family. And then when things go kapoof, like there's a possibility here, well, what, what do those people think? Oh, well, you know, Jim Bob, remember, yeah, he, he, was, he was trading the markets and, you know, now he comes back and, you know, I haven't heard from her, you know, you, you, you know, a bad connotation forms. So that's why you gotta be very leery when people are trying to come down on you and try to imply that you're being very silly, you're being very stupid. Now, maybe you are if you're acting like a gambler, but if you do know in your heart of hearts that you're approaching all this with a trade plan and you're focused on risk and you know that you're doing things the right way, don't let people persuade you because the people are coming at you because they probably had interactions like this person that we're gonna look at. So let's get to this comment. It's very short, it's very sweet, and yeah, you'll kinda, you'll, you'll quickly get the point of where I'm going with all this. So this person says, don't stop making videos on CGC. CGC is 98% of my portfolio, LOL. And then way over to the far right, I put the actual chart and then date, just so you can see kind of how things unfold for this person. So that analysis was from 913 of 18 on CGC. CGC is one of these Canadian, you know, marijuana pot stock companies that, that have boomed. Some people think they're gonna continue to boom. Point being, it's, it's very speculative. It's very, you know, at the forefront. Very kind of, okay, where exactly are things gonna head? Now, to be fair to this person, you know what? Maybe CGC continues to boom, and then it goes boom some more, and then it just goes really boom, and this person's portfolio just explodes in the upwards direction. But does that mean that they did anything right? Now, you could argue, well, yeah, they did right. They went all in on something that worked out. That's true, but is that necessarily a good habit? No, that's, that would be a terrible habit, because what is that telling this person? Well, that's how you do it. I'm good because I picked this and I went all in and then their next idea comes along and they go all in. And you know what, maybe that one works and maybe the next one after that works. But eventually these bad habits catch up and one of these is not gonna work out and kapoof, there goes all their profits, there go the vast majority of their profits. But what I'm trying to get across here and hopefully you kind of get is one of the foundational aspects of trading and investing is risk management and one of the baseline forms of risk management is diversification. And when you're 98% of your portfolio in one stock, and I don't even care if that one stock is not speculative. So let's let's replace this with uh, what's a really good company? Amazon, Apple, Microsoft. Yeah, those companies are great. They're solid. You know, Amazon's taking over the world it seems. But still, to go 98% in on one single company, that that that's still very very unwise because you know you've heard the saying before. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. This person's eggs are all in one basket and that's not what you wanna see. And again, in the event CGC does not work out and this person's you know portfolio goes kapoof, 
then all these people that, you know, that have had interactions with this person, they're gonna have this sour taste left in their mouth of, yep, somebody else, or you know, maybe it's their first uh, you know, interaction with somebody trading the market or investing the markets, and they're gonna have this impression now that, see, it's, it's gambling, it's basically just gambling. Well, yeah, when you go 98% of your portfolio into one single stock, that is gambling, but that's not how it's supposed to be. There are many other ways to treat it right. So again, two points in summarizing things. First point, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Second point, if somebody is you know, kind of giving you the, the, the stink eye in terms of, oh, you're a trader, just understand that odds are they've probably come across somebody like this clown that thinks it's good to put 98% of your portfolio into one stock, and that's why they're kind of jaded towards the whole stock market thing. So don't let it discourage you, don't let it drag you down, don't make it, you know, don't cause it to doubt yourself if you're going about things in the right fashion. But uh, yeah, all eggs in one basket, no. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link, so if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything, and that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community, and let me know if you have any questions.